This video is for informational purposes only. There are risks to jailbreaking your iDevice and it does void your Apple warranty. So think before you act. Hey guys, Matt here from today's iPhone.com and welcome to this week's episode of Jailbreak Tuesday where I'll be covering all the latest jailbreak news. This week we have Snowbreeze receiving a major update for its two year anniversary. Acid Snow might be getting Pod2G's exploit added into the program. And finally, the A5 jailbreak and its current status. Now let's get to it. So starting us off this week, Snowbreeze received a major update on its two year anniversary. It now brought back support for old firmwares. It allows you to download IPSWs right inside the program, along with also being able to remove that annoying icon you get when you're looking to update your iPhone, that OTA update little icon in the settings. It now removes that if you would like it to. So Snowbreeze, that's awesome. Congratulations on two years and thank you so much for helping out this community. Also, Red Snow received an update this week, and it does have the iBooks uh, fix in it. If you have an untethered jailbreak, you would know that it does mess with your iBooks, and the update has fixed that issue. If you don't want to have to re-jailbreak, you can just download a little simple patch inside City at Now. And one other program that we should keep in mind is Acid Snow. Acid Snow currently does not support Pod2G's exploit, but rumor has it that those two are talking and that the exploit will be coming to Acid Snow soon. Before we talk about the A5 jailbreak, I just wanted to let you guys know that the exploit used in 5.0.1 by Pod2G to allow us to jailbreak has been patched in 5.1, so if you're looking to jailbreak or considering, do not update to 5.1. Even though it's not out yet, if it does come out, don't update to it or you won't be able to jailbreak because 5.1 will require a new jailbreak method. Now in regards to the A5 jailbreak, Pod2G announced that the jailbreak is just days away. So in my mind, I could see it coming out this week or early next week. But I would be excited. It's going to be coming out, guys. I will post a video as soon as it's out, and I will also do a step-by-step -step, uh, video on how to jailbreak. But I'm excited. You guys should be excited. We're almost there. And finally, the tweak of the week is City of Bulletin. Now, City of Bulletin isn't actually out yet, but it is something that the whole jailbreak community really needs and City of Bulletin will now alert you when your packages have updates so if you have something like Activator, Activator 1.5 and 1.6 comes out you'll have a little notification right in the notification center that you need to go update it so that is awesome it is something that's going to keep all the uh, you know jailbreak apps up to date and everything so I'm really excited for that one so that's going to win it even though it's not out that is the tweak of the week so be on the lookout for that uh, I will post in uh, a future video when it is released. I'll just mention it. But that is going to wrap it up for Jailbreak Tuesday, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you're looking to get in contact with me, you can hit me up on Twitter at Homemade Geek, or you can send me an email at matt at homemadegeeksquad.com. You guys have a great day, and as always, peace.